Hey guys, Irene here. Today I'm going to be reviewing some really, really affordable photo backdrops. Uh, this was sent to me by the company called Kate Backdrops. This is not a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid in any way to do this video or to talk about the company. They just sent me some of the backdrops for me to review for free. And I thought, why not show you guys some of them if you are interested in getting some affordable ones. I am always advocating for DIYs and you guys have seen that I have some tutorials on how to make your own backdrop and some videos on how I use them. But a lot of people still tell me that maybe they're not as crafty, maybe they don't have the time or the resources to do it. So these backdrops are actually really affordable. That's another reason why I actually wanted to review these. I wanted to test out the quality for myself and see how they're gonna look in my images. So the company let me choose the backdrops and I chose two of them. I got the one that you're seeing behind me right now. It's kind of a floral pink, um, almost looks like a hand painted type of backdrop. And the other one that I got is a textured, um, kind of a blue and yellow backdrop. It's actually very similar, uh, kind of reminds me of the backdrop that I painted myself. I chose these to be printed on a fabric as fabric is really easy to fold down and transport and store it somewhere in a small space. I didn't want any vinyl backdrops, although they're usually cheaper, but they sometimes give a little bit of a shine, they take a little bit more space. And two of my backdrops I got in 10 by 10 feet, which is a pretty big size. And each of them costs only around $100, which for 10 by 10 printed fabric backdrop is a really, really good price. So let's get to the things that I like and the things that I don't like about the backdrop. So what I like about it is that it's big, it's cheap, it's fabric, the print looks exactly the same as the image. I love the colors. They shipped really, really fast. This came to me in about seven days, in about a week. And I already photographed some images using these backdrops. They look great. They look just the same as my DIY backdrops or any other backdrop that I've used doing photography. By the way, the behind the scenes to the photo shoot using these backgrounds will be in the description down below. Now, the things that I don't like. When I first opened the packaging, I was really surprised by just the fabric itself that this backdrop was printed on. It honestly looked to me kind of like a blanket because it has that kind of um, like a velvet type of material. It's kind of a little bit shiny and like fluffy. Uh, and I've never seen a backdrop like that. I've mostly shot, if it was a fabric backdrop, it would be like a linen, cotton, like a thicker cotton type of material. This one, straight up looks like a blanket to me and I was really skeptical at first I did not know how how this is gonna show up in pictures but what I realized that with this kind of fabric it, it actually didn't wrinkle much because it was folded quite a lot in the packaging but you cannot really see any of the folds really uh, so this material is really good for folding. You don't really have to steam it So yeah at first I was really weirded out because I've never seen a fabric like that but it turns out that it actually looks pretty good in images and I don't see any difference really to any other different backdrops that I was using before. Another negative thing is that it didn't have a loop at the very top to go through the barrel of the backdrop stand. So if you know what I'm talking about, most backdrops will have a little loop to kind of put through that rod and then stick it onto your backdrop stand. This one doesn't have it so I had to use some of my clamps to clamp it on top of the rod of the backdrop stand for it to hold on. And by the way, the clamps that I'm using here, I bought just from Dollar Store for like $2 and they're doing a pretty good job at holding this. I did not have any trouble with it slipping down, but it is a little bit inconvenient and I wish that they did sew on a loop at the very top. So overall, I actually really enjoyed this backdrop. The company actually asked me if I would like to receive more backdrops. So maybe I'm going to do reviews on different types of backgrounds. Maybe I will review a vinyl one. Let me guys know if you would like to see that in the next video and I'll talk to the company. I think this is great for those who cannot afford hand-painted backdrops that cost $500 to $1,000. 
I'm one of those people. I do not want to spend that much money. That's why I would DIY them myself. But honestly, this costs hundred dollars. It's really not a bad price at all for 10 by 10 feet. That's a really big backdrop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! You can probably play a drinking game and just take a shot every time I said the word backdrop.